Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Bramick at Holy Shepherd Lutheran Church. It's time for our daily devotion. Um, for our devotion this morning, we're going to be taking a look at the agricultural imagery that is present in Psalm 1, in many of the Psalms, and, and throughout the Old Testament. And so, uh, you know, I, I particularly point your attention right now to uh, the things in our passage, mainly, uh, or in our Psalm, mainly in the second portion. Uh, and so we have images here like tree and water and streams and fruit and leaf and chaff. Um, you know, all of these things point to the agriculture of the land. The people had uh, a very earthy and a very um, everyday understanding of all of these words. Uh, water in the Middle East is life. I mean, it's not available at the tap everywhere. You either get it from rainfall, which in many parts of Israel especially if you get close to the Dead Sea, is very, very little. We're talking a couple of inches a year. Um, and then, uh, you know, they have a rainy season, a dry season. Uh, so uh, they have cisterns for collecting water. Um, they have underground springs that they use to, um, to get water. So water is, is very valuable, and it's, it is hotter in the Middle East and in Israel than it is even here in Texas, if you can believe that. Um, so, water is a constant necessity, and in the psalm, a tree that is planted by water, the tree is, is um, it thrives and it bears fruit because it has a constant source of nourishment. So, in the scriptures, water is associated with nourishment, with life, with cleansing. Um, you know, you find mention of water in relation to God's temple, like in the book of Ezekiel and in the book of Revelation, you find streams, you find rivers, even in heaven. Um, in Revelation 22, you have um, discussion about this. You have mention of a tree uh, in heaven, the Garden of Eden, there's a tree, right? So uh, we, we can't get away from, from this imagery of the tree, the water, life, the fruit bearing, and all of this happens um, when the tree is planted by the river, and it's analogous to uh, the man, because we start out the psalm, blessed is the man, uh, and, and he is like the tree, and so in the same way that the tree is planted by the river and the canal and the, and the water nourishes the tree, so the man is nourished by the Torah. He's nourished by his consistent uh, reading and meditating. Uh, upon the Torah, and it nourishes him like the way the water nourishes the tree. Uh, the opposite of this in the in the psalm is the chaff. And in the Middle East, you grew the wheat, you harvested the wheat, and then you processed the wheat. And and so for the processing processing of the wheat, they would take the wheat, cut it down, and they would throw it on the threshing floor, and then they would thresh it. They would stomp on it, or they would. Uh, run it over with threshing sledges, which were like picture skis with like rocks embedded in the bottom of the skis uh, that they would separate the kernels of wheat from the, uh, the wheat plant itself. And you would stand on these threshing sledges, uh, which are mentioned in books like Amos, and uh, then the oxen would pull these threshing sledges and you would be standing on them, and your weight would then cause the separation. But then you were still not done. You had to separate now the uh, kernels, the wheat kernels, from the chaff. And so you would just take these big pitchfork-looking uh, uh, instruments or tools, and you would throw uh, what you had just threshed up in the air. The wind would take it, and the wind would uh, blow away the chaff because the chaff was so light. And then the seed that you wanted would fall back to the ground. So uh, then you would have uh, the, wheat, uh, the wheat and you would have the seeds, but you would not have uh, the chaff because the chaff would be blown away by the wind. And the same is true with uh, the wicked, that the wicked are like the chaff that the wind blows away. And, um, you know, they're thrown up in the air. They have no root. Uh, they're not nourished by the water. They don't have life in them, but they are carried about by the wind 
um, because evil itself has no root. So the agricultural imagery of the Old Testament is really strong, and we start out the psalm that way. Uh, Jesus, of course, the parable of the sower, um, the separation of the wheat and the weeds in Matthew 13 on, on the day of the harvest. Uh, and that, uh, of course, we think of the sacraments, right? How wheat is, um, nourishes us in, in Christ's body. Uh, we think of how water is present in baptism. And God uses these earthly elements to, um, uh, you know, to further his kingdom. That it's those earthly elements combined with his word that uh, brings about nourishment and faith and um, points to the action of those earthly elements, either to sustain us as bread and water do, uh, or to cleanse us as water does, um, or to be a staple of the land, right, as, as wheat is. So, all right, let's continue now as we pray together the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. All right, uh, announcements for today. Email newsletter went out yesterday with uh, a number of important um, uh, pieces of information in it. Uh, garage sale is coming up um, a, a week from yesterday, Wednesday. You can start to bring your items up. Uh, Shelly Schools will have more information. I, I would imagine she might be here this uh, this coming Sunday. Um, thank you for everyone who's been signing up for volunteer slots. We uh, certainly love and appreciate having your help. Um, Fall Festival is going to be um, a little bit more than a month from now. So there'll be some information about that in the bulletin and in the email newsletter next week. Um, let's see. Mahjong is happening right now. Uh, we have Sprouts that is restarting, and there's some information about that in the, uh, in the email newsletter. And then we do have a church council meeting after church this coming Sunday. Um, all right. That is all of the answers I have for today. God bless you. Thank you for watching. And um, I will see you again on Saturday.